Good morning and welcome to the Green Valley Parkinson's Support Group Exercise Class. Sure hope you had a great weekend and um, if you didn't, you can look forward to having another one next week, okay? So we're here for exercise. We need a straight back chair without arms, a small tennis ball, of course a pair of hand weights, light, and a larger ball and of course some water because it's summertime. So. We're going to be seated in the chair and we're going to do some warm up exercises. So sit forward in the seat, um, your feet then flat on the floor and about hip width apart. Make sure you allow some space. Like you could sit tall and, and lean back a bit and not touch the back. So sit more forward and we're going to take some deep breaths through the nose. Hold it and let it out through pursed lips. Again, exhale, and then look down, and bring the head up slowly, and then look up, relaxing the jaw, and now center, and side to side, you want to listen to your shoulder, ooh, I heard a crack. Was it yours or mine? <laughs> and drop the chin to the chest. And it's a slow head circle. Both ways. Be mindful of how you sit in the chair. Drop the chin to the chest again and lift the head and look up. And now focus forward. As you turn just the head to look over your shoulder, drop the chin and nod. Nice job, good. And then to the other side, nod. Great, and forward for some shoulder rolls. And of course, both ways. Good, and it's up, down, up, down, two more. Good, and there, the arms, they're out. Shoulders now down, move the fingers. And then spread them out, tapping finger to thumb. And then extend the fingers, scratch. One, you can count with me. Three, Three four, four, one more. Five. Now make a fist for five. Squeeze it hard, good. Three, four, four. and now squeeze and hold. Two, three, four, five. The shoulders relax, the fingers extend and it's a wrist roll. Four, five, let's go the other way. Five, four, three, two, one. There, let's rotate those arms, palms facing center, cross them as far as you can, good. And open, flip it, again, cross, and there, flip it again, placing the other arm on top, good, and flip. You got it. And they come down, resting the hands on the chair for a side stretch. And this one, arm overhead, you're looking forward. And then twist to look down at the floor. Perfect. One more time looking forward. And then the arm comes back, hand on the chair. Other side stretch. Beautiful. And look. And there. And then both arms cross, twist, and hold and to the other side, and hold. And bring it center, the hands there on the chair, shift the weight, and the opposite hip is lifted, knees high, good. Three, I knew it, four, give me one more, five, great job, all right. And a little walk, saw a lot of walkers out this morning. Yes, yes, yes. We're in the desert, it's warm. <laughs> exactly, a little faster. Run! Work it, work it, work it, work it, good. And bring it back to that second speed, lifting the knees high, and then have a walk. You got it, good. That's our warm up. So we're back to this position with weights in hand. 
sitting tall. It's a soft but a firm grip as you wrap the fingers and tuck the elbows. Sit tall, look forward, lift them and curl to the shoulder. It's a bicep curl. Two, three, thank you, Nancy. Four, five, six, thank you, Kurt. Nine, ten, and down. Oh my gosh, you just have to be here to know. So shake it out. Make sure those fingers wrap, elbows tuck, lift it up and curl. One, two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Placed on the floor underneath your chair briefly as we bring the feet and the knees together engage this area make it nice and tight sit tall the arms cross look forward as you extend the legs lift them up we're going to flex point pull those toes up four good five six seven eight nine ten toes up Glue them together as you extend the heels to the side and in. Heels touch, toes out. Toes touch, heels out. Heels touch, toes out. Don't expect me to do that very long. <laughs> Good job. One more time. Heels out and touch, toes out and touch. Good job. And down. Separate them and bring them back into this position. One weight, one hand. That's all we need. So sitting tall, work it all the way up. Drop it gently to the back, the elbow pointing upward. Support it only if it needs it with the other hand as you extend and lower. Good. Two, three. Where are you looking? Four. Straight ahead. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And keep it in that hand. But take a break. Don't forget water if you need it okay so same thing straight up shoulders fairly even the weight drops to the back and it's up supported if it needs it three four five good six seven eight anybody else ever hit their ear that does not feel good I know. Ah. All right. Place it in the other hand and take a break. Breathe. Yeah. And bring that to the shoulder. Extend it. Drop it gently to the back. And it's up. Two. Three. Thank you. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That's the first set. So. Again, sit tall, bring it to the shoulder, extend it overhead, drop it to the back, and it's up, down. Two, three, four, five, excellent. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Super job. Mondays are just hard sometimes. We're going to put it on the floor for a little stretch. Come forward in the seat. Yeah, sit high on those sit bones. A lot of that leg off of the seat and extend one leg. The arms are out, the fingers spread apart as you twist, reaching for the foot with the opposite hand and focus on that foot as you reach for it, extending the other arm overhead, spreading the fingers. Good. And come up. Same arm as leg this time. Reach and hold it. Breathe with the stretch. Great job. And there. Drop the arms. Bring the leg in. Now the other side. And it's opposite arm to leg. Reach and hold. Two, three, four, five. Good. And up. Same arm as leg. Reach and hold. Two, three, four, five. Great job. And down. Back a little bit. A little bit into that seat. Drop the arms. And if you feel you need to hold on for balance, use the chair legs. If you don't, they're here. Sit tall, lift a knee, it's a flex foot, extend the leg, it's a pointed foot, bring it in and out. Three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Placed wide, shift the weight, lift this one up and point and flex. Two, three, thank you, 
four, five, you got it, six, I see you, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down, right back into this position where we need the weights again. And we're going to do some overheads. So they're sitting, not very attractive, or they're sitting. So sit tall in the chair, bring it to the shoulder, and extend the weights out just a little bit, fingers on top, and out from the shoulder. You're going to bring them up, and as you bring them down, pull them back so you're pinching those shoulder blades together. Yes, it's not that slow though. Okay, three, yeah, four, you got it, five, pull them back, six, seven, eight, we're almost there, nine, ten, and down. Okay, take a break, great job, breathe. Yeah, and find that position again to the shoulder, Rotate them out, extend them beyond the shoulder, straight up. They're going to touch. I want to hear it. You've got metal. One, yeah, two, make some noise. Three, four, perfect. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Be glad to put those down. All right, super job right there. And for this next stretch, we need to turn slightly in the chair. So um, you're sitting at an angle and the chair leg is in between your feet, which are still about hip width apart. The hand close to the frame of your chair holds on as you extend the back leg straight out, hip to toe, reaching, spreading those fingers, grab the imaginary rope and pull it towards you. Perfect, Nancy. And then into a little ball and then stretch again. Bring it in. You got it. All right, sitting tall, we've got the others. Only so we can see how he does, do we turn? <laughs> so swivel around, your feet straddling the front chair leg. Hold on, reach for it. Yes, you got it, good. Pull it in, rounding the back, tucking the chin. Again, stretch and grab and pull. Perfect, and up. We're back to facing forward with our feet right where they were in that space behind you. We're going to do a chair lift. So now the hands are here. Friday we um, did a little demonstration on how to get up from the floor if you have fallen. And it's all upper body strength that you really need. So this is a good one for that. So the hands are here, a little bit nose over toes. As you lift yourself up, two, we're going to do ten. Three, four, five, good job, six, seven, eight, oh, I love these, nine, <laughs> ten, not so much. All right, great job. You're going to bring it into a closed position and scoot forward just a little bit more. Once again, we hold on. We're going to lean back slightly. The knees come to the chest and down for ten. It's up. Two, you got it. Three, breathe. Four, five, six, seven, uh huh. Eight, nine, ten. Woo! And back to the starting position with our feet apart and our arms out, shoulders relaxed for some toe touches. Up and two. This is what two cups of coffee will get you. Five and six. And seven, eight, great job, sitting tall, nine, we're almost there, ten, Woo. super. Catch your breath, and if you need some water, make sure and have some. Um, you want to sit tall in the chair for these next exercises, then just arms out, shoulders relaxed, and the hands there. And then flex, make sure the fingers are spread apart, three, Four, give me one more. Five, curl them up. Yeah, and then a little fist and a uh, stretch it. And then lift them up, slowly open, yeah, and shake them out. Finger presses, finger flicks. Start with presses, forming the circle. Yeah, good job. 
there. And finger flicks. Flick, flick, flick. Yeah. All right, good. And again, think of your posture. As you're sitting there, extend one, flip it, palms up. Grab the fingers with the other hand and gently pull them down. Yeah. And then fingers up. Because of our time, we really don't hold the stretches as long as we should, but we'd be here for another hour. So flip it. No, that wouldn't work. I don't think so. All right. And fingers up. Good. There. All right. We did this one the other day, and we'll do it again. You're going to bring them here, in a, just a relaxed fist, and curl them towards your chest, the elbows out. Knuckles touch the back of the hands, and then down. Good. And then open, and then extend. Awesome, one more time. There, bring it down, and out, shake them out. Here, fingers apart, elbows lifted. We're gonna bring the arms forward of the chest, they touch, the fingers connect, and then push back. Oh, yeah, and then one more and stretch, excellent. Just there, look forward, but pull that head gently to the side. Yeah, good, and then to the other side. Good job, right there. Okay, we're gonna bring this into a closed position. The feet and the knees, again, if you're sitting here, grow tall and the arms crossed, and now weight forward. It's a flat back. Your focus should be about two feet out, and then press on the outside of your foot as you open the knees. Good, excellent. And then bring it in and bring it up. Transferring weight forward, flat back. There, excellent. And again, back to a starting position, right back into that, where we need the weights again. So grab those. We're gonna do some straight leg lifts and some knee lifts that are just suspended. So roll the weight out with an open hand, hold on to it, thumb on top, and we're gonna extend one leg forward. Trying, trying to work some flexibility in your foot too, so excellent, then you wanna see if you can keep that there and still maintain a straight leg. We're gonna do 10 leg lifts. So it's up, down, two, relaxed foot, three, Four, you got it. Five, six, but I don't hear it. Seven, thank you. Eight, nine, ten. And then back to this position, looking forward, extend the other leg, and it's up down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, don't make me laugh. Eight, nine, ten, and down. All right, back into this position. Don't hold your breath. And I don't say it often enough, work within your own range of motion, okay? So in your own flexibility. Um, don't compare what you do in class or with the video to anyone else, just what you're able to do. So that hand's still there, look forward. We're gonna lift the first knee up and hold for five, four, three, two, one. It just barely touches the floor and we lift it again. It's up, two, three, four, five, and touch. Again, up, two, three, four, five, two more. Lift high, two, three, four, five. Great job, last one, two, three, four, five. And when you put it down, make sure it's that wide position, so you just shift a little, and the other one is up, two, three, four, five, and touch, and up, two, three, four, five, and touch, and lift, two, three, four, five, and touch, and up, two, three, four, five, last one, and up, two, three, four, five, and down. Now extend the other leg straight out, sitting more forward in the chair. Sometimes it feels like you're way out here because we're used to back here. So shoulders over hips. It's a straight leg lift. It's up, down for 10, 2. Thought I forgot, didn't you? Uh-huh. 4, 
Five, I almost did. Six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Hey, I can't lie. Great job. Let's put them on the floor underneath the chair. Um, if you're here for the first time and you didn't know that we'd need a tennis ball, um, we do. So next time you join us, have a tennis ball. Sit tall in the chair, and we're going to warm up our hands and work on posture at the same time. So roll it, good, and then spread the fingers and work that ball in between each set. Yeah, I hear Velcro. <laughs> oh, she's getting ready. You've done this before? <laughs> Once? <laughs> Stretch it. Good job. All right. Remember, Think of the chair for the most part as a bench, and we try not to use the back. So work on your posture. We're going to make a soft fist and rest that ball on top. The other hand just relax at your side or wherever. Extend the ball and the arm out. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. See if you can bring that ball back to the chest and extend the arm out, keeping it balanced on that little place. Halfway out. See if you can't carefully place it in the other hand. And again, eyes closed as you extend the arm and bring it in and out and in and out. Eyes closed, both arms extended, transferring the ball from one hand to the other. Of course, sitting tall in the chair. Yeah, smiles, they're optional right now. Especially Yes, I hope you're all doing this. <laughs> okay, open your eyes and place the ball on the floor. And the foot on top of the ball, push down on it and roll back and forth. You are getting quite the little sandal tan on those cute feet. Well, we're in Arizona, a lot of sunshine. All right, both sides, push down, roll back and forth. And I bet you have sock tan. <laughs> All right, grab the ball, and if you're in class, we just squeeze it back into that place. If you're at home, make sure it's out of the way as, as you scoop back into the seat, pressing against the back, and your feet slightly behind the knees, engage the core again and press against the back. So you're not just sitting here, but you're engaging that abdominal area, and then Arch the back, the chest lifts a little bit, and then press, good. And then stretch again, and press into it. As you look forward, extend the legs and lift them high, and circle, working ankles. Three, four, five, let's go the other way. Five, four, three, two, one, perfect. And to the floor, pull them back and Peel yourself off that chair, shifting the weight from side to side. Walk out on those sit bones. Feet, try to glue them. All right, the arms are out, the shoulders relax. Palms up, lean back and up. Yeah, you know, sometimes people think, well, it's probably easier if you're closer to the back. It's harder, isn't it? Yeah, you have to give yourself plenty of room to. Lean back. Are we on going on five now? I'm going with it. Five. <laughs> Even if it wasn't. Six. Good. And all the way up. Seven. Sitting tall. Eight. Nine. Prepare. We're going to go back and hold. Hold it. Hold it. Two. Three four and five. Great job. And up. Hands there on the thighs. It's a flat back, but you're going to reach forward, transferring some of that weight over your thighs and looking directly down to the floor, up on the ball of the foot, down on the heels. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up. One more. Up, up, down, down. Let's raise heels. Up, down. One more time. And the feet again, wide. Nose over toes, we're going to do a sit to stand. The weight shifts forward, perfect job. Bend, placing the weight in the heels. Again, shift. Yes, 
bend and back in. Get used to shifting your weight. Two more. Perfect. Let's just do this for an hour. No, I'm just kidding. Ha! <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> All right. And back into the chair. Super. The feet, keep them right there. Take a deep breath or two. Yeah, that's your reward. Okay, nice and tall. The fingers spread apart, placed right here. Elbows extend, stretching the chest. This is a warm up, twisting side to side for a seated crunch. As you twist, lift knee to elbow and a touch. And two, and three, and four, and five. Keep going. Six, we're almost there. Seven, eight, woo, nine, ten. Great job. All right. Now we need the big ball. And again, you want to sit more forward than back. Feet still in that nice wide position. Place it there and let the elbows relax. We're going to do a forward reach. Arms extend. Don't lock the elbows, but transfer the weight forward. Not just a little bit. Reach for me. Great job. And then place your head in between the arms and hold that position. Lift the head. Come up slowly. The arms still extended. Pull away, tucking the chin to the chest, but reaching forward. And then stack the spine sitting tall, beautiful arms overhead. Lean back and hold. Two, three, four, five. All the way up, drop it. And we're going to go just a little bit to the side and out from that knee. So you've gone from here, very slight, just there. And then like somebody had a string and you're going to follow it. And most of the weight now is on one sit bone. This I find is a challenge for balance. And come up and then center into the other side, just barely out from that knee and there. Yeah, and up. Now track the ball as you twist as far to the side as you can and hold. Great job. Track it center and turn to the other side and hold. Nice. And again here. We're going to place the ball on the floor. I have way too much to do. Can we go an extra half out? <laughs> All right. We're going to make sure the ball is out a bit, but to the side. And the foot rests softly on top. The arms, they're going to be overhead today for balance work. So, And if you don't feel safe, use the chair to support you. But here, look forward extended. And it's up for five with a relaxed foot. Three, good, four, five. Flex it for five. Two, good, three, four, five. And down and drop the arms. And that ball goes to the other side. <laughs> well, not always. Sometimes I forget. So sit tall. All right. Again, arms overhead, the shoulders relax. Chin off your chest. Extend it out and lift it for five. Three. Thank you. Four. Five. Toes up, down, up. It's a flexed foot. Four. Five. Great job. And remove that foot in the ball. We've got to get out of the chair. So, and we're not going to use this today. So wherever you want to place it that's out of your way, maybe on the chair seat, everything else underneath, sit to stand one more time. We're going to transfer that weight, nose over toes, and come on up. Standing to the back of the chair for some ankle raises. Feet right underneath you. Fingers here if you need it. Otherwise, they're here. Focus as you shift the weight to the ball of the foot, and it's up, down. Try to come down softly so we don't want to plop. Yeah. Thank you. Five. I need her. Six. Seven. Eight. Get ready. Nine. Focus and go up and hold. Two, three, four, five, and lower it down. I need the chair for some toe lifts, so if you do, go ahead and use it. And shift the weight to the heel. Toes up for 10, 2, 
three, good job. Four, pull them up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. And we're going to do some leg work, but I'm going to turn. Are we still good? Okay. Again, just arms distance from the chair. Looking forward, shift the weight to one leg. Don't lock that standing knee, but extend this straight leg behind. So it's in a cast. And all of a sudden, you've got this extension on the back of your chair, so it's about this high. You don't want to crash into it. You want to still stand tall as you lift this up, down, two, feeling it in the glutes and the small of the back, four, give me one more, five, look forward and bend the front knee, sitting into that stretch, heel to the floor. That is always a nice reward. Yeah, and come up, bring it forward, the weight will shift, the other leg, straight leg behind you, and it's up, down, two, three, good, four, excellent, five, and then look forward and bend and stretch. And come up, placing the feet right underneath you again, kicks to the back, so bend, oh, that feels good, stretch out the quad, Three, <laughs> four, they're trained. Five, keep going. Six, kick it. Seven, kick it. Eight, nine, ten. Super job. And standing to the side of your chair in that same wonderful position. It's a wide position. And the weight, though, transferred to the inside leg. Don't use the chair if you don't need to. The arms just drop to the side and we're going to do a march. So it's outside knee up first. Two and three. And good. Four, five, six, yeah. Seven, eight, nine, 10, super. We're gonna do a little balance work right now. So, and, and I always like to start behind the chair. It kinda, it helps with placement, I think. So we're behind the chair and we're gonna go that way. So we're gonna take a step and then bring this foot right into it. Yeah, and now with that same outside foot, step forward, just a regular curt step, like boom. And right now, this should be right there, right beside you. So if you need it, it's there. If you don't, drop your arms. Focus, transfer a little weight, forward and back. Yeah, just like I had a string pulling me a little bit, and back. Center is gonna be that place where you can go up on your heels. Yeah, you know that it's not back here on your hip or too far forward, just right in the center. Hold the chair if you need it. We're going to lean back a bit, and the toes are up. Looking forward, back to a center position. Transfer the weight to the front. The inside heel comes up. Great job. And back. Rocking forward and back. Now focus. Good job. And find center again where... You can go up and down. All right, use the chair, because we're gonna come forward this time, and lift the inside back leg off the floor, placing it down, great job. Lean back, outside, up. Not too high, maybe three or four inches if. Good job, there. And now do it faster. You probably don't even need the chair, right? Yeah, back and forth, perfect, all right. Same thing to the other side. So we're standing to the back of the chair, looking forward, take a side step and together, outside leg takes a step forward and you're centered, you're right in the middle. Good, arms dropped or use the chair, a little forward and back. And when we do this very first one, your feet never leave the floor forward, the heel doesn't come up, back, it, it's not that yet. It's more upper body, just shifting a little bit. Yeah, good job. Use the chair if you need it. We're gonna come forward, lifting that inside back heel up. And hopefully you're looking out in front at something. I look at the exit sign way down there. Good thing it's glowing. 
and know where to look. All right, and then use the chair as you shift the weight a little more, lifting the inside back leg up. Perfect, both of you, great job. And the rest of you, great job. Focus, and there, and back. And faster, back and forth, like a little rocking horse. You got it. Super. Transferring of weight, very important. It, this is something really simple like getting out of a chair. If you don't have the weight in the right place, no matter how strong your legs are, you're not getting up. So we're going to do a little cardio. Make sure that everything we use today is, yeah, especially that, Nancy, sorry. Everything underneath. Yeah. It's a good time while I'm changing the music to grab a sip of water. These are mostly about two minutes, and what that means is to stay in motion for about two minutes. If you're going to talk, talk fast. Job. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh. I guess. Um, of course, it might be on here. I think I've only played that one. <laughs> oh, we have a situation here. Hold on. Go ahead and catch your breath. See what's happening here. <laughs> yeah, have some water. Good job. Good. Do a little cardio every day for your heart. So make sure you're in your chair, forward in the seat, with just one weight, both hands wrapped around it, sitting tall and extending those arms overhead. Shoulders are relaxed. It's a forward reach again with a weight this time. Flat back, drop between the feet, extend it out and up. Good. Two, help me count. We might do it more than 10. <laughs> Three, all the way up. Good. Four, flat back and up. You got it. Five, sitting tall. Six, Seven, eight, and up, just two more, nine, and we did it, ten, and up, super. 
placed on the floor out of the way for some cool down music. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, he should be on cue. There he is. All right. Get yourself settled. Make sure you've got that space back there. Take a deep breath through the nose. Out slowly through the mouth. Again. Hold it. Exhale. Again. Exhale. Great job. Look down. And lift the head. Looking forward, listen. Center and up. Center and side. Center and again, chin to the chest. Slowly circle the head. And reverse it. Drop it forward. Sit tall as you lift it up, looking at the ceiling. Looking down, chin to the chest. And forward, shoulders to the front. Up as high as you can, pull them back. Down, and then circle. Oh yeah. And the other way. Yes. Nice, good posture, the arms are out. and stretch, bring it back and unfold them. Rotating the arm and the shoulder. Soft hands. And then give yourself a big squeeze. Tuck the chin to the chest. And open wide, stretch it, yes. Place the other arm on top. And open. A little face and voice. It's A E I O U. One more time. A E I O U. Great job. Mwah. Thank you for joining us. Be safe and have a great day. See you uh, Wednesday.